Samsung Galaxy Bands. I just want to show you real quick how you can use the Bixby key to uh, quick launch uh, informational widgets anywhere you are on your phone. So for me, for example, something I often want quick access to is my calendar to see what's on my calendar or my schedule. So if I click that Bixby key right now, you'll see it pops down a month view of my calendar as well as the uh, things that are coming up um, all right there. And I can do that anywhere if I'm in the Amazon app and I'm looking at when something's going to be delivered. I'm like, oh, I'm going to be out of town that day. I can hit that and you'll see it immediately pops up that widget. Um, like I said, anywhere you are in your phone, you can do that. Uh, so let's just open another app just to show you that it's the, just the Bixby key. So wherever you are on your phone, I hit that Bixby key and I get that and these are calendar widgets that my calendar app I use has but you could do this with any widget so for example if you wanted if you're someone who's always checking weather you could do with the weather or you could do uh, if you use Google Keep you could do your to-do list uh, you might want quick access to that and you could do that now how did I do that well I had two ways two apps you need in order to make that work one is the app pop-up widget and this isn't going to be a full review of this app. I already did that. I'll link to that in the description below if you want to get details on how to use this. Basically, pop-up widget lets you create those pop-ups uh, of any widget on your phone. So you do that, and that's step one. You create the widget how you want it to look, uh, or widgets, plural, if you want to. And like I have to have the month widget and then separately the agenda widget. And then secondly, you have to install an app called Tasker along with Tasker App Factory. And uh, let me go into the Tasker, and you use that to create an app to launch with the Bixby button. Because the Bixby button, Samsung opened it up so that now you can launch any app with it, but only apps. So the way I get the other thing to happen is I go into Tasker, and I use there's a Tasker has a pop-up widget um, plugin. So I choose that and choose the two widgets, I have two calendar widgets, and then I can turn this into an app by long pressing and then export as app. Once I do that it gets exported as an app and so now you'll see I have this app called Bixby button and when I click it all it does is launch that uh, uh, the pop-up widgets and so now because it is actually an app that means I can assign it to the Bixby button. So if we go into settings and go into advanced features and then go into uh, Bixby key and then Open what app do I want to open with a single press and you see you can choose anything and I've chosen the Bixby button uh, the app that I created using Tasker and Tasker App Factory. Now I do have a more detailed video where I show you exactly how to do that, how to use Tasker and Tasker App Factory to create those apps and how you can basically doing that you can make that button do anything you want to do on your phone. You can make it be a quick dial so that whenever you click that button it automatically calls someone. You can make it be a, a quick text. You can make it be, uh, if you have a kid you want to keep up with, you can make it a button that you click and it finds them on a map if you have that, that running on your, uh, with Google Maps. Anyway, a lot of different things you can do, but that's how you can uh, make it so that any widget that's on your phone, you can easily and quickly pop up uh, using that. Anyway, just wanted to show you that's another cool thing you can do with the Bixie button now that they've opened it up just by using a pop-up widget, Tasker, and Tasker App Factory. Mm -hmm.